Today at Audio City USA, we're diving into our crash course series to bring you bolt patterns. So if you've ever wondered about bolts or lug nuts on your vehicle, this is the video for you. Now, before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe to Audio City USA because we're bringing out videos like this every single week and you don't want to miss it. Now, today we're going on our explainer series, our crash course to bring you bolt patterns and lug nuts and all things securing your wheel to your vehicle. Simply put, what is a lug nut? You want me to dumb it down a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Most common cars have a stud. Okay. This is a stud. And you put a lug this on it. This is the lug. Okay. The lug <laughs> is going to screw in there. Does it tend to come off it's, or is it just stay no, on? No, it's going to go in there. Okay. Okay. Now a stud. Right. Apart it, from me, what is a stud? Oh my God. <laughs> We're going to do this shit. That's a stud. A bolt. Most European cars are going to be, this is the bolt. It's going to go in. It, it ties in. Okay. Yeah. So the car is female and you're putting your bolt in it as opposed to a, a stud where the car is male and you're putting a lug on top of it. That's it. Very I'm simple. I'm trying to dumb it down, bro. Yeah. I don't know. That affects a lot of the fitment when, um, like, if you want to use a spacer, it's easier to do it for a European car because there's their bolt and the bolt is very simple. The spacer is 15 millimeters. The factory bolt won't go all the way through, so you is very simple. The right. solution is get a longer bolt versus a stud. The stud has so many turns. Let's say you're kicking the wheel out, right? That space is going to reduce the amount of threads that are left. Correct. Usually when you want to do, if you want to go past five millimeters, you want to go with a longer stud. So you can buy extended studs. When you need to replace studs, do you have to replace the whole knuckle or can you just... No, it, it cut, you can literally just replace the stud itself. Yeah. Another thing we get asked all the time when it comes to this topic is... Why do we see so many different bolt patterns on vehicles? You'll see eight bolt patterns. Sometimes you'll see four on a Miata. Like, what is the deal with that? Why don't manufacturers just pick one and go with it? This is a funny topic. I'm going to give you a quick one really quick. I had a customer said, uh, I have, I'm looking for a five lug wheel. I'm like, okay, well, what is it? I just need a five lug wheel. There's no universal five lug, right? He had a Tundra and it was a 5150, right? which is completely different from like a five and four and a half bolt pattern, which is like a most common one. So between a five one fifty and a five one four and a half, what is that difference represented It's a millimeter, by? so it's five and four and a half sits like this. Five one fifty is like this. Oh, so, so basically the distance between each bolt or stud is spread out. It's long, it's bigger, yeah. So there's no universal wheel. There can be one that has multiple holes, to fit multiple cars, but it's still not gonna fit every five lug car. That, that, that's the dumbest thing ever. One thing we actually do to work with this is we actually have a lot of blank wheels that we drill to order. Yeah, we have our own Haas CNC machine. We have three of them and we're trying to get these wheels out to you guys faster and that's why we have them out here to get them out faster to you guys. Absolutely. Now, why do car manufacturers offer so many different uh, amounts of lugs? Like, why do you have a four lug versus an eight lug? What is the difference in that? It's a lot of it has to do with its um, load rating, honestly, a lot of like eight lug is per, because it holds more load rating. Yeah. Six lug, which is like the Silverado and then five lug Camaro. And then four lug is not really common anymore. No one's really doing four lug but, anymore. But 90 civics, Miatas, things like that Correct. are four lug. Like the civic four and four and a half. All that stuff is more 90 stuff. Oh, the older BMW, the older Mustang, those are, they're being discontinued. They're no longer doing four lug. You don't really see it anymore. And they did it for a reason because it's, it's just not practical. It's a, a five lug will hold a better wheel. It'll hold it down better. Absolutely. And another thing you'll often see is high performance vehicles, especially the Dodge Viper. That thing had a six lug setup. Six on four and a half, yeah. On a very, very small circumference. Such a pain in the ass, man. Every yeah. time we get a Viper, I'm like, oh my God, shit. <laughs> not, not because I don't like the car, but the fitment is so specific. It's so specific. Yeah, and it has to. they have to be custom built or like, four star makes like a specific wheel for like that but very nobody builds it pre-made because it's yeah. such a unique car is there anything else these guys should know about bolt patterns or lug nuts you know what yes bolt pattern can get a little complicated on cutoff years so an impala night uh 2013 and 2014 is when they transitioned from bodies it was a 5115 2013 2014 they changed it to 5120 and people get that confused all the time because that was a cutoff year. That's one thing, right? Know, you, know what cutoff year you have. BMW transitioned to, in 2015, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think 16 is when they transitioned to a 5112. They changed all their stuff to like a Mercedes ball pattern fitment. I hate that they did that because it messed up the whole wheel industry. We're like, what the hell happened? So we transitioned everything from 5120 to 5112. 
basically you got to know your cutoff years. So the three takeaways from this video is number one, we have bolts which go into the vehicle and then we have lugs which go on top of the studs that protrude out. Number three is uh, know what bolt pattern you have as far as the cutoff years. If you have a cutoff year vehicle, know which one you have because that's important. That's going to change your bowl pattern. That's going to determine which one is it. Absolutely. So your research on that is vital. Anyway, if you guys have questions about this, give us a call on the number in the description or go to audiocityusa.com where our fitment experts can answer any questions you have. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm Andy. I'm Anthony. And we'll see you guys in the next one.